It's a magic ring. If it is approved by him, you can become Merlin's successor and then become the most powerful wizard in the world. Balthazar looked at the boy before him. It was the one he had been waiting for a thousand years. He told the boy not to touch anything here. He was now going to retrieve the wizard's handbook, but Balthazar had just left. The boy found a nesting doll on the ground. Curious. He picked it up and examined it. It was a nesting doll with a slight spark on its surface. The boy was so frightened that he threw it to the ground, but the doll was thrown through a gap. Then a million bugs started popping up from inside. As the boy looked on in amazement, the insects finally took the form of a man. It looked exactly like the design on the doll. Horvath appeared and was ready to kill the boy without saying a word. Fortunately, Balthazar appeared just in time. He immediately knocked Horvath into the air. Horvath wasn't going to take it lying down. He fought back immediately. Both wizards, naturally. The battle between them was fierce. Soon the whole room was covered in flames, with Balthazar temporarily trapped. Horvath turned to the boy again, but just then, Balthazar rushed up to save the little boy. Balthazar sealed himself and Horvath together. The boy was so frightened that he ran out of the room. He panicked and threw away the wooden doll in his hand. Just then, the boy's teacher arrived. But when they returned to the room, they found that everything was calm again. It turned out that in the short time that had passed, Balthazar and Horvath had been sealed in their containers. And so it was ten years later, the young boy had become a university student. He is like a lot of other geeks. He is in the same class as the girl he likes but is afraid to confess his love. In the meantime, the ten years of sealing had come to an end. Horvath had finally broken free of the seal. The first thing he did when he came out was to throw the container that sealed him downstairs. Fortunately, Balthazar woke up just in time. He managed to escape from the container at the last moment before it fell. The first thing Balthazar did was look for the boy. That's when Horvath followed him here. In the end it was Balthazar who got the upper hand. By the time Horvath reacted, Balthazar had already taken the boy and left the place. Look at the giant steel baby that came to life before him. The boy had to believe in magic. And then Balthazar revealed the boy's questions. It turns out that 1000 years ago, Merlin, the god of magicians, had three disciples. One of them was Balthazar Key. The other two were Balthazar's girlfriend Veronica and his best friend Horvath. It was during Merlin's battle against the evil mage Morgana. Horvath chose to betray him. Not only did he help Morgana kill her teacher, he was about to use an evil spell to summon an army of the undead to enslave humans. Balthazar, who came to stop him, was also defeated. Just as Morgana was about to kill him, Veronica chose to sacrifice herself to save him. She took Morgana's soul right into her body. Balthazar had to seal them together in the Horcrux. In the years that followed, there were evil sorcerers who tried to rescue Morgana. Balthazar defeated them and they were sealed in a nest of dolls, layer by layer, and on the outside was Horvath. Before he died, Merlin told Balthazar, who could wear the dragon's ring? He would be Merlin's successor, to be the only one who could kill Morgana. Balthazar has been searching for him for centuries. He had tried many, but no one had ever been granted the ring of the dragon, until that day when the little boy came. He must have been guided by the gods of magic. The next thing they had to do, it was to find the Horcrux that sealed the evil mage. And on the other hand, Horvath has arrived at the same antique shop as before. He used his magic of time travel. He saw the wooden doll that sealed Morgana. It was eventually picked up by a Chinese grandmother. From what he saw, he said the old man should be in Chinatown. Soon after, Balthazar also found the place. Little did he know that Horvath had arrived first. Just as Balthazar was about to ask for the Horcrux, a man crept up behind him. After Horvath found the lasso, Horvath had unleashed a sealed evil sorcerer. The evil wizard was on the move. With a quick wave of his hands, the silver needles in the room were immediately controlled by an unknown force. They shot Balthazar like bullets. Fortunately for Balthazar, he was no ordinary man. He turned to the evil wizard and sent him flying. However, the evil mage was soon back on his feet. He would also use his true powers. The evil mage looked slowly at his waist. He saw that the dragon totem was moving. Then, not far away, the dancing dragon came to life. He began to grow flesh and blood. Even his legs slowly turned into claws. As the boy looked on in amazement, the dragon roared directly at him. Balthazar saw this and blew out a handful of confetti. This temporarily blocked the dragon's view. The boy took the opportunity to run away. But the evil wizard wouldn't let him go so easily. He immediately took control of the dragon and charged at the boy. Fortunately, the boy found a room to hide in. But the dragon was in hot pursuit. 
The only way out of the situation, it was to defeat the dragon's controller, and with the evil wizard in control, the dragon ran into the street. Watch the boy in danger, Balthazar wasn't going to help. It turns out that only in a crisis, he will be able to learn magic faster, the dragon was getting closer, and that's when the boy started to concentrate. At the last moment, when the dragon was lunging at him, the boy finally used his magic. Balthazar saw this and immediately began to make up for it. The berserk dragon was out of control. With the magic of transformation shattered, the dragon soon turned into a fake dragon, and all that was happening here. Horvath was watching, looking at the ring in the boy's hand. He knew that his greatest enemy had appeared. After this incident, the boy was also interested in magic. He asked Balthazar to teach him magic. Balthazar told the boy, once a decision is made, there is no turning back. The boy finally decided to take Balthazar as his teacher. He became an apprentice magician. Every wizard has a ring of his own. He can transform the energy of his brain into the material world. Under the guidance of Balthazar, the boy began to learn all kinds of magic. He was covered in protection. He still gets hurt during training. With a lot of practice, he became more and more adept at magic. Once upon a time, he was traveling with his goddess. He even used his magic to defeat a robber. And that impressed the girl and agreed to go out with him. By the next day, he asked her to go to his lab. The end of magic is science. As a good science student, he played the girl's favorite song on a Tesla electric coil. This made the girl squeal with surprise, and the two of them had a romantic date together. And on the other hand, Horvath found an evil sorcerer as a helper. He was going to hit the boy when he was alone. Balthazar was waiting for him. He took the evil wizard by surprise and knocked him out first, facing Horvath who continued to charge. Balthazar began to use his mirror magic again, but the two were evenly matched. Neither could get the better of the other for a while. But then the evil mage came along to help. He sent Horvath into the mirror space by mistake with a blast of energy. Then he himself was knocked away by Balthazar magic. Knowing he was in such danger, the boy then practiced his magic even harder. Not only does he use his magic to control the broom to sweep the floor, he even used his magic to wash dishes, but since the boy was not yet skilled, eventually, all his magic got out of control, the boy himself was in danger, fortunately, Balthazar arrived just in time to dispel all the magic, faced with the boy's magical antics, finally, the two parted ways, while the boy was on a date with the goddess, Horvath finally got his chance this time, he attacked Balthazar by impersonating the boy, then he found the horcrux that sealed Morgana, seeing that Balthazar was no longer useful, Horvath was ready to kill him too. It was in the nick of time. The boy finally arrived just in time. He used his magic to knock down the dagger and save the teacher. Horvath immediately fled with his assistant. With Balthazar in hot pursuit, Horvath then touched his hand on the car. The taxi instantly turned into a supercar. Balthazar did the same thing. His car is clearly better, seeing that he could not get away from his opponent. Horvath also found a mirror. Then he used his magic. Balthazar was immediately transported to a mirror dimension. Everything here is inverted from reality. And Horvath kept breaking the mirror. He tried to trap Balthazar inside forever. Fortunately, Balthazar soon saw a break in the mirror. He saw a mirror hanging in the air, wavering. Balthazar immediately rushed up in his car. Just as the mirror fell, they finally entered the real world. But by then Horvath had disappeared. And on the other hand, Horvath had the Horcrux that sealed Morgana. Horvath realized that he needed a lot of magical power to unlock it. He did not hesitate to strike at his companion. He would use human life to break the, the final seal. The most evil of all sorcerers is sealed in this Horcrux. But unlocking it requires more than just great magical power. It also requires the Ring of the Dragon of the Supreme Merlin. But the ring came to him. It turned out that Balthazar had led the boy to Horvath's lair, while they were splitting up. The carpet beneath Balthazar's feet suddenly trembled. He soon became immobilized on the carpet. The boy had found the Horcrux. Just as he was about to leave, Horvath appeared behind him, and he took the boy's girlfriend hostage. Now the boy had a choice to make. Take his girlfriend's life or let go of the dragon ring. As the boy prepares to stall for time, Balthazar is also trying to get out of the trap. He used his magic to control the two chains. Then he pulls himself straight out of the trap. But by the time he got outside, the boy had already handed over the Horcrux and the ring. Balthazar, in a rare move, doesn't blame the boy. He would have made the same choice. Balthazar immediately summoned the steel baby. Then he had to stop Horvath. The boy was not idle at that point either. He can't use magic after losing his ring. But the end of magic is science. The boy quickly carried the Tesla electric ring to the car. 
he had figured out a way to defeat Horvath. Meanwhile Horvath had gathered all the conditions. Then he had to release Morgana. As the Horcrux broke apart, a mass of black matter erupted. It eventually took the form of Balthazar's girlfriend Veronica. And it was the evil Morgana that was sealed inside him. The next step is to use the satellite receiver at the top of the building to channel and amplify electromagnetic energy to set up the magic ring. Then he could summon an army of undead to destroy the world. By the time Balthazar gets here, the magic mark was about to take shape. Horvath soon spotted Balthazar hiding in the shadows. With the dragon's sword, his power increased. Balthazar was no match for him now. He was quickly knocked out of the way. Horvath then revived Iron Bull in the square. Iron Bull heads straight for Balthazar. Even though he was hiding behind a car, he was also unable to stop the Iron Bull's attack. And Horvath was still casting spells. Soon Balthazar's life was on the line. It was at this time of crisis. The boy finally arrives in time with his Tesla electric ring. The wand in Horvath's hand was the best way to conduct electricity. His weapon was immediately removed from his hand. Before he could react, Balthazar's spell took care of him. Facing the iron bull that kept charging, Balthazar then summoned the iron baby. It grabbed the iron bull straight into the air. But the crisis is not over now. The magic ring in the air has taken shape. Under Morgana's control, black smoke began to rise. They spread rapidly throughout the world. Black smoke can wake the dead. Whether it's the Great Wall of China, or the Sphinx under the pyramids, they wake up quickly under the influence of darkness. Soon the darkness will cover the land, and countless undead will return from hell. Fortunately, the boy was prepared for this. He had already asked his girlfriend to sabotage the signal tower. With the receiver successfully destroyed, and with the failure of summoning magic, Morgana also fainted from the backlash. To save his girlfriend, Balthazar breathed Morgana's soul into his own body. He then threw the horcrux at the boy. This time he would be the one to seal Morgana, but it's not that simple. As the most powerful evil mage Morgana, Balthazar's body simply can't trap Morgana. Morgana was soon freed from her bonds. Just as she was about to kill Balthazar, the boy came rushing out of nowhere. It turned out that he had unwittingly awakened. He could still use the power of magic even without the ring in his hand. This is a power only the Supreme Mage has. As they were all in shock, Morgana attacked. Everyone was immediately struck by magic. As Balthazar was knocked out of the way to save himself, the boy fought back in anger. But although he now possessed Merlin's magic, he did not have the power or skill to match it. His attack posed no threat to Morgana. Instead, the boy was quickly defeated by Morgana's attacks. But that was the boy's plan. The first strike he made just now, he deliberately missed the transformer on the side. While Morgana was on the attack, the boy was secretly controlling the high voltage wires. He had connected all the wires to the, to the street lights. Now he's going to use science to defeat magic. At the boy's command, a mop instantly pulls down the electric switch. The power of the whole city is gathered here, with a powerful current flowing through it. Morgana loses control of her body, faced with this living target. The boy doesn't hesitate anymore. This time his attacks all hit their mark. Morgana was reduced to ashes, and so ends the magical battle that has been going on for a thousand years. At the end of the film, Balthazar is finally reunited with his girlfriend, and the boy lives a sweet life with his goddess.